What we're going to share with you here is an actual burn which we conducted in our laboratory in St. Paul. So you can see how the system operates and with the sensing devices connected to our computer you can see some of the temperature ranges and uh, the emission levels that occur with our unit. What we're burning is a variety of standard seasoned logs which is what we recommend as a fuel. The only kindling we're going to use is a little crumpled paper underneath the logs to show you how easily the system starts. Smaller kindling can be used to increase the rate in which the fire will heat up and thereby reduce the amount of smoke which occurs at the beginning of the fire. However, this is not necessary. The motor that you see in the upper right hand corner is what creates the induced draft throughout the entire system and is creating a rather strong flow of air from the opening into the combustion chamber. Thereby no smoke or materials are coming into the space as you start to fire and this rush of air either with the door open and even better with the door closed causes the fire to start very easily. You can see one match with a little newspaper is all that's really required to get uh, rather large wood to start burning. We don't need a conventional chimney to create a natural draft, so our exhaust pipe comes straight out the side of the building. However, you can turn a corner there and have it go on up vertically if you desire. You can see that there's some smoke for the first few minutes at the beginning of a burn. However, um, even after a couple minutes, this is lessened, and uh, usually between five and ten minutes into the burn, there's no visible smoke at all for the remainder of the time that the system is burning. You can see how readily, even four and five minutes into a fire, the force draft will really get the system going. Whenever wood is added, there will be a little additional smoke until that also comes up to temperature. But basically, it's, as you will be able to see, it can be considered to be a smoke-free wood-burning appliance. We're beginning the temperature of the water at 135 degrees. We're pulling a um, draft of about two and a half inches here. And at 14 minutes into the burn, we've got virtually complete combustion of all the wood materials in the combustion chamber. All smoke and any unburned materials and the flames are pulled into a secondary combustion chamber where fresh oxygen is introduced and this is why the exhaust stream looks as clean as it does. The third column to the left is indicating the amount of emissions, combustible emissions from the system and we're now at 400 parts per million which is an extremely clean burn and our combustion temperatures are about 1200 degrees. We can increase performance by pushing the wood away from the nozzle so that we get better dispersion of air. Notice here how the flames are being pulled into the secondary combustion chamber by the very strong induced draft. It is the combination of this excess air and the extreme temperatures that we're getting that reduces, produces the clean burn. You notice here we're burning in about the 12 to 1300 degree range. Our exhaust temperatures are about 375 degrees before they leave our unit. After about a half an hour of the burn, the wood pile is pretty well diminished. And if you really want to maintain top performance of the system, it's best to add wood at this time. You can see in a half an hour we've raised the tank about seven degrees and we will now add wood to show you what the really top performance can look like in the system. It's very easy to toss the wood in. Again with the strong induced draft all the sparks and miscellaneous material are pulled in through the system 
and very little material, if any, is allowed to get into the space around the unit. This is our analyzer of all combustible materials. You can see the needle on the left is virtually at zero, which corresponds to this third column, which is showing us now burning cleaner than a conventional oil or gas furnace. We're actually less than 100 parts per million, and our combustion temperatures are between 16 and 1,700 degrees. At this time of the burn, we are operating our absolute peak performance, our exhaust temperature is about 450 degrees. You'll notice at this point in the burn that we're actually going to raise about 8 degrees. Did you notice the jump there? In a matter of about 13 or 14 minutes. When that second load is put in there and those temperatures are reached, it's very easy to rapidly increase the storage tank's temperature. We can put 300 to 350,000 BTUs an hour routinely into storage. You can see after an hour here we've got a very solid complete burn. This is the way we like to see the system operate. We encourage you to come on out and see how it works. It's really something to behold and pictures help but they don't do it all.